My name is Heike Parra and I'm um, coming from a state company like Credex. Uh, Credex is actually not uh, related to electromobility at all before this program. And uh, <coughs> our situation is a li little bit different uh, but, uh, as we heard today. Like we don't, uh, Stona doesn't have any background in electromobility field before 2011 and Estonians didn't uh, almost nothing know about electric vehicles and so on. And also uh, how we involved it was also quite a uh, uh, rapid decision that uh, our ministry has made and uh, one day they told that uh, you have to uh, make this project happen and uh, this was our job. And we don't, didn't have any clue about uh, electromobility, charging infrastructure, electric vehicles at all. But um, of course, um, uh, no, here you can read uh, our main activities. Uh, we have expertise in uh, supporting SMEs, uh, supporting housing associations in different kinds of loans, grant schemes, and uh, also export. Uh, and our uh, guarantees are state guarantees and, uh, and uh, its uh, fund was uh, founded in 2001 and we have some 40 people are working in a Codex and uh, in the uh, ELMA program uh, just uh, me and uh, partly one person <laughs> but initially we had uh, three persons who are dealing with this program and um, uh, differently, also we have the situation about funding. We have funds, we have project, uh, project held for certain frames, and uh, thanks to Mitsubishi Corporation, Estonia has sold these CO2 quotes, so called Kyoto tradable units, and, uh, and also Credex has different uh, kind of uh, CO2 projects. Uh, for in housing sector in SME sector, but uh, it was uh, uh, electromobility was uh, uh, for Estonia quite unique. And um, as I told it, it was uh, uh, we had zero knowledge about this. But uh, thanks, we had uh, Japanese uh, consultants. Uh, we have uh, expert groups in Estonia, and uh, today we can be proud that we have such infrastructure and, um, and it's working. And also our responsible responsibility is also uh, raise awareness uh, among the Estonians that uh, uh, we have dif different kind of um, activities in this field, like a car sharing, it's a small scale demonstration project and uh, we have demo center in uh, one science center and also we have the EV grant scheme. Uh, and it's uh, important uh, for Estonia that uh, this kind of grant scheme is established because uh, we don't have any car taxes like uh, Norway or Sweden or other countries. And uh, that's why it's, uh, this kind of direct grant is uh, needed because uh, EVs are most expensive and uh, and uh, to bring down this upfront cost, it's uh, it's necessary. And we started it uh, July 2011, and um, we have still left money, and um, it uh, should uh, end in this year. What will happen next, uh, we we don't know, and it's our not our. A uh, job to make uh, electromobility policy in Estonia and its uh, governmental um, like, uh, decisions. And uh, from this budget, we can support uh, around 600 uh, EVs totally. And our grant scheme is um, uh, so that uh, every Estonian or Estonian company can um, apply. For, for grant, grant is 50% of car price, and uh, it can be maximum 18,000 euros. 
and it was calculated this uh, this way that um, uh, first uh, in Estonian market was only Mitsubishi Aimi was uh, like a tradable and uh, it cost uh, 36,000 euros and then that's why its uh, maximum is 18,000 and we are also supporting um, uh, purchase and uh, installation of home charger everybody who will uh, uh, purchase CV can apply uh, for uh, grant for chargers also. And um, first year it was very painful to find somebody to buy the CE, but um, oh, there was a doubt that uh, how it will act in our climate also. Estonia has also quite uh, cold winters and, and so on. And, um, and also lack of uh, car models in the market. And it was the reason that uh, first year we got only nine applications. But it was uh, speeding up and today we have more than 45 applicants every month. And thanks to uh, this uh, publicity or experience what uh, other people have done and also we have uh, done different campaigns open uh, occasions we have car sharing whatever and it's uh, it's uh, now it's um, it's booming and also we are supporting plug-in hybrids but it's not very popular in Estonia uh, it uh, and also this, uh, support is uh, such a not so big like in uh, battery vehicles and it depending on the battery capacity and it can be up to 12,000 euros. For example, uh, Toyota plug and hybrid can get only 3,000 euros and compared to car price it's uh, quite small. But this is uh, not um, our goal to support um, this kind of vehicles. Uh, and um, about statistics, a little bit more. It's uh, mostly Estonians are buying uh, Nissan Leafs, but lately, as uh, our conditions are also allowing to buy a car from Euro market, and uh, other brands are also also in our our, in our fleet, like Tesla or BMW or even uh, Volkswagen Golf has already got our grant. And uh, there is also different uh, so-called small cars like Tatsari or Mia Electrics uh, and even uh, we are supporting uh, small ATVs for uh, small islands. It's uh, only for small, I small islands. And um, about the infrastructure, yes, we have uh, all Estonia is covered with quick chargers. And uh, when we started this project, it was, wasn't clear what kind of standard will be in Europe. 2011, we have a uh, conversation with the uh, European Commission and uh, at that time it wasn't um, clear that it will be Shadem or what type of uh, standard will be announced. But today we know that the combo standard will be uh, probably. And, um, but at that time we have to make the decisions what kind of uh, charges we will put. On one hand, uh, we have made the decision that uh, we will put the only quick chargers, not uh, semi-fast or uh, slow chargers. And, um, and when we started to build up this network, uh, as we don't have any land or where to put them, then uh, we have to procure that uh, public public money we have to procure that uh, everybody has a chance to to apply for quick charges and unfortunately we got some 15 applications and uh, 
on the other hand, we are fortunate that uh, we can uh, we can uh, still uh, plan this network of our, our own. We have uh, good partners like a co local gas station chain and uh, supermarket chains and also municipalities with whom we have located this um, uh, quick charger locations. And our conditions was also that uh, this uh, land should be free, unlimited use, uh, unlimited time. And it was uh, quite uh, strict uh, st uh, restriction that uh, why we got this uh, 15 applications only. And uh, to establish this network, we have made some 50 or 60 procurements as it's public money, we have to procure all, all steps, the constructions, uh, uh, construction grids, and all this. Um, and today, we have charging network, consists of 163 chargers, and uh, we can say all Estonia is covered. And the one point is, uh, was, uh, why this whole country has to be covered, because uh, in the program also Mitsubishi gave us, or it was um, like a part of this program, five, more than 500 Mitsubishi IMIRs for social workers, and they are located all over the Estonia. And um, most probably they need this kind of uh, security that uh, they can uh, try uh, longer ranges, and um, and the other thing was uh, important that uh, where we put this uh, charger, charger so should be some coffee shop or gas station where people can stay and uh, um, and uh, take this uh, 20 30 minutes, but uh, will take this charging. And this uh, map is interactive, and uh, these yellow ones are currently charging. This is a picture, but uh, in the website it's uh, interactive. And, uh, and um, yeah, today we can say that uh, we have 800 cars in the Estonian market and uh, 160 free chargers, but it's, 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 uh, it's too, too many chargers maybe somebody will ask but uh, but this is an uh, this is a necessary to to, uh, to speed up this uh, electric vehicles uh, program and about charger we had uh, procurement uh, who, which was won by ABB and um, they, in 2011, they bought this uh, uh, manufacturer of uh, Terra 51 chargers, and um, and uh, in our conditions was uh, that uh, only originally this Terra 51 is only DC char charger, and but uh, as we know that uh, Renault will also enter in our market, and we ask them to put also this. Uh, so-called uh, AC side, where the uh, output is 22 kilowatt hours, and uh, and uh, socket this is Menneke socket type two, and uh, then other cars today even Tesla, BMW, Volkswagen, they can all charge in this socket, and we don't have any payment possibilities in a place, but uh, this is works. Uh, like um, they have to sign an uh, agreement with Credex peer member, and then they will have a possibility to get um, this RFID card, or they can use mobile mobile uh, through SMS or Elmo application. They can use this char charger, and every month they will get a bill. And we have uh, three different packages, uh, two packages is with uh, monthly fee, one is uh, without uh, monthly fee. And we are not selling also kilowatt hours 
we are selling um, charging uh, uh, we are not selling uh, we are selling um, uh, charging times one time how long you want to stay it's up to you but there is also restriction that uh, this DC side is uh, uh, connector will open after one hour and uh, this AC side uh, there sure will be open connector in, in four hours we just increase because uh, Tesla has entered in our market and they need uh, more energy and after one hour somebody if somebody will come then they can plug from other car this uh, uh, plug and uh, connect uh, his car but usually it's average time is um, uh, is uh, 26 minutes but there is um, the st statistic is a little bit uh, confused because we have one taxi company using in uh, Tartu Tartu is the second biggest city in, in Estonia and they are using uh, 15 uh, Nissan Leaf cars uh, and uh, for taxi purposes and uh, they are charging usually quite uh, uh, small time or this is uh, statistics is maybe not very uh, very that we, we can't uh, say that it's uh, average uh, user using this way and um, we have um, more than 44,000 charging sessions it's uh, we opened this grid 2013 in February it's uh, more than one year and we have more than 700 customers almost all EV owners are our customers but uh, all are not using actively not every month and um, we have so called active users are uh, 300 approximately and um, and operator mo operating model we have uh, that uh, all assets are belonging to Credex and we have procured uh, operator for five years and all this money for operating is gone came from this uh, program and we have ABB is a partner for operator and um, they have subcontractor is uh, G4S is security company and they are mainly dealing with uh, customers and uh, clients and all this uh, maintenance and uh, other services are made by ABB and our third partner is uh, Now Innovations, who has uh, made this software. And uh, today they are establishing in Netherlands quite big fastnet project with uh, ABB. And um, they gain a lot of experience from our experience. And, uh, and of course, um, if we can start today, we, we have also made some changes that uh, for example today ABB has uh, much uh, better charger what they have had the 2012 they have uh, this so-called triple charger where so you can find combo shademo and uh, normal socket or this uh, plug and but this is a um, somebody has to be first or and do this um. but otherwise is we are it's working and um, we have quite few technical problems and uh, we are quite happy about this one ha one thing is uh, pricing and uh, clients are like a feedback from clients uh, that it's, uh, it's a little bit expensive but uh, we are counting this price only this electricity what we are buying 
we have to cover this electricity. We can say, can't say that this project is uh, like a business project. It is not, it is, uh, if we count this um, initial investment and uh, all this amortization, and then it's, uh, it can be viable if you have some five, 10,000 clients, but we have only 700 and, and half of them are using. <laughs> That's why it's, um, and uh, in future perspective, uh, uh, Carmont has uh, made a decision that it's, uh, it will be uh, owned by one company. It's, uh, it will be Credex or somebody else, it will, will be clear. We have contract up to 2017 with ABB. And um, it's necessary to manage with uh, like a in, in a punch or in a one place. And also our, our goal or, or was uh, to raise awareness uh, among Estonians and, uh, and uh, uh, when we started then we got this 507 Mitsubishi cars and uh, Estonians didn't feel it is a good electric car. It's small, it's not uh, how it will uh, survive our winters and, uh, and uh, it was a quite big task to change this, uh, uh, this thinking of Estonians that uh, EV doesn't mean Mitsubishi Aimiv. And there is a more cars, uh, uh, EV is not the only Mitsubishi. And in um, and 2012, Nissan opened this uh, uh, They have April 2011 started to sell Nissan Leafs and then it went up this uh, purchase of electric um, vehicles and also we have uh, experience uh, uh, through this taxi company they have already driven some five uh, 150,000 kilometers and uh, and all tests are showing that uh, the battery is uh, lasting our climate even uh, it's surviving uh, this uh, quick charging because they are mostly charging uh, in quick chargers. And um, all this uh, together is uh, uh, people are more interested of e electric vehicles. Unfortunately, this will end this year and uh, what will happen next year, we, will, we don't know because uh, our task will end when this grant money is, uh, is uh, is ending. And also we have made this uh, Elmo brand and uh, visual identity. Okay. And, uh, and all this kind of promotions. Uh, and uh, one part of uh, promotion is a car sharing. We have 24 cars and, uh, and uh, this is a so-called uh, one hand is quite unique because you need only mobile phone to operate this car, to open doors, close doors, to uh, uh, end the sessions, and uh, it's very popular. And uh, also, it's not a business project because its uh, initial cost uh, investment is quite big. And uh, but uh, for um, uh, for people, it's very good to live with EV. It's a different. Uh, to live with a normal car or EV. I have the same experience that um, if you first will sit in an EV, then it, you feel, you know, in a city it's okay, but if you are driving outside of city, then it's, uh, if uh, there will be 30 kilometers range uh, left, then you will uh, panically looking for charger. And But uh, anyway, you can drive up to zero and it's, it is comfortable. And this is a 
website, of course, people have to register before, and then uh, later they will use this mobile phone to operate this uh, car, and uh, later they, every month they will get the bill if they have used this car. Some statistics, and also we have demo centers.